I was working for the Orion project. We were using bombs to propel a spaceship and it gave us a feeling of tremendous power. There's something very seductive about the power in your hands or in your mind that you can do something on a sort of cosmic scale. It goes very much to people's heads. It was intoxicating. I remember very well the day that happened. I was heart and soul for bombs. I was working with bombs every day and imagining great spaceships driven by bombs going all over the universe. And then one day I had a look at a piece of paper where they plotted the number of explosions every year from bomb tests. And the logic was very simple that every time you exploded a bomb for some experiment, you had two new questions to answer. So the next time you needed two experiments and two bombs. And then the next time after that you'd need four bombs to answer the questions. So it would just multiply forever like that. I suddenly saw, well, this doesn't make any sense. Like St. Paul, I was converted in, in one moment. Well, the next thing I did, in fact, was to testify in the Senate when they had the hearings for ratifying the test ban treaty, which meant death to Orion and no more explosions in the atmosphere. I switched to 180 degrees, and, and I'm very happy that I did. There are all kinds of horrible things that can happen. Sort of just by the grace of God, they didn't happen yet. Nuclear war would destroy a large part of civilization, and it takes a long time to recover, if ever. I would say there's nothing else that even comes close to being that bad.